Yo yo, Rangulius here, and welcome back to Wrench Feels Like Playing Underspace. Um, today I'm going to show you how I set up my controls in order to uh, comfortably fly around in the game. Um, I'll kind of show you my combat setup um, and just in general how I set my buttons up on my keyboard and as well as my mouse. I'm using a mouse with five five different buttons so if you have a just a regular mouse maybe this might not necessarily work out 100% for you but uh, hopefully it's uh, at least a starter for you in order to uh, maybe adjust your controls to, to make what feels comfortable for you but uh, so we'll start it off by just showing you my control layout here so I will use W and S to accelerate and decelerate um, as per normal, but then I swap my strafing um, buttons up to Q and E, um, as well as my tab, I swapped my thrusters to tab. So what that ends up doing is allowing me to rest all four fingers on, on tab, Q, W, and E, just as a general default layout for my hand, and then I can move my finger like my middle finger in between w and s if i need to decelerate i'll just bump down s but for the most part i'll have all my fingers all my fingers uh sitting on tab q w and e and then um my thumb i will have resting on x for the most part so the reason for that is because i use um for combat my my main use equipment button is x which generally i will want to use for my missile launchers um you can swap between certain equipment with uh your scroll wheel um but generally i will want that to be uh on my missile launcher um so my thumb will sit on x but then you can alternate your uh your thumb to jump between Z, X, C, and V, as well as the space bar. Your thumb, my thumb can generally reach all those buttons fairly, fairly easily, um, as well as comfortably. Like it's not like I have to reach or anything for, for buttons there. Um, so I'll go through why I have it that set up. So X will generally be just used for missile launchers. And then Z, Z is your suspended physics. So for me personally in this game, I am always flying in suspended physics. I'm, I'm rarely ever flying in like the, the base flight mode, just generally because I find it more comfortable. Um, you have a little bit more control with your aiming and your just your general flight because with suspended physics, your ship can move in a direction and you can aim in a different direction while your ship's still kind of flying in that same direction. It gives you a lot more control on aiming. Um, and then that'll come into handy when it comes to fighting a lot rather than trying to fight in the regular flight mode, which can be kind of dizzying at times. Um, and then C, I will just leave for the, uh, for the countermeasures. It's already auto, um, auto on the countermeasures there. So C, it just makes sense. C countermeasures makes sense. And then V, I swapped to, uh, the fire heavy gun. Um, I haven't generally used this gun just yet. I haven't had to use it. I haven't fought any big battleships or any big fighters just yet in this game, but uh, it's sitting there ready to go when, whenever I need to. And then um, space bar um, I'm using as my repair shields button. Gen like it's normally put on G, but because G is kind of a little bit of an awkward distance away, space bar is right there. And your shields are going to be the first thing to go in combat whenever you're fighting. So that's and they're super quick to repair. As soon as you hit the button, your shields repair. So having it on spacebar and right there where my thumb is, perfect. It, it's just an easy, easy button to hit. Um, and then as for my mouse, so obviously your uh, right click is going to be fire weapons. Um, my scroll wheel will, if you scroll, will. Um, select different equipment like your your missiles your mines your auto turrets your heavy gun um and you can scroll between those two or between all all of those different type of equipment 
generally, like I said, I generally just stay on the on the missiles unless I want to activate my auto turret. Um, the auto turret is actually fairly fairly overpowered in this game, at least so far from what I've seen. It just automatically targets the closest target and just fires. It does drain your energy fairly quickly, but overall, if you're just kind of flying around and you suck at aiming, just throw in an auto turret and you're going to take down enemies fairly easily. Um, but uh, that being said, um, and then I use for toggling between your uh, manual flight and like you're using your mouse to select objects and like select like if you want to select a ship or if you want to select a, a, a station or a docking station or whatever. Um, you just, I, I, I use scroll. I think originally it's space, um, but I, I, I like to use the scroll select button. It's nice and easy. Um, and then I have two buttons on the side of my mouse. Um, the top button I use to, for the cl selecting the, the closest target, the top button here. And then the second button back I used to launch my mines. Um, so it allows me to have a fair range of control. Like the, the setup that I have gives you a fair range of range of control over your ship in a very tight, compact uh, button placement there. There's other buttons that I'm not pressing like like or like things that I might not necessarily be using. Um, but for now, in terms of combat, that's all I've really had to use so far, especially during with uh, with NPCs. I'm sure once we get into PvP, things might change with uh, with button layouts and what is necessary in order to uh, jump your ship or like in order to dogfight properly. But uh, fighting NPCs, that that setup is generally fairly good. Um, we will go see if we can find maybe a a bit of a combat situation here to kind of just show you what I mean by the suspended physics. Um, it's it's almost non-negotiable where you kind of have to fight in suspended physics. You if you're trying to fight in the uh, the normal flight mode, you're gonna have a hell of a time trying to aim and and steer your ship at the same time. Um, See how I'm like still floating in the same direction? That's because I'm using suspended physics. And then you just use your thruster to move forward wherever you want to, or whenever you want to move forward, you use your thrusters instead of using uh, manual flight, which I have as tab. So it just makes flying around a little bit more smoother. Um, and uh, when you're trying to aim your guns, you're not necessarily having to worry about the fact that you're moving in that direction. So here's a combat situation. I'll use my mouse to select target, the closest target. And then now I can easily use suspended physics, use my tab, use my thrusters. I use Q and uh, E for strafing to avoid damage. And there you go. And then, and then I'm using X will launch a missile, blow him up. And let's finish him off here. You can drop countermeasures with C. If they if you you can kind of hear it if they launch a missile at you. And then it automatically selects the next target. My shield's down, hit spacebar, shields are back up. Launch my missile, and guy's down. So there you go. So if you use my button setup, um, it kind of allows you to uh, comfortably combat um, enemies. At least that's what I found so far. So if you found that useful, uh, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It'd really help a lot to uh, grow my channel. I'd appreciate it a lot. Until next time. Peace.